Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. A little muggier out there this afternoon. We do have mostly cloudy skies when averaged out across all of southern New England. We'll get some peaks of sun here and there, but overall the clouds are winning out. And in terms of those dew points, it gives us a great way to measure the comfort level of the atmosphere. And today, tomorrow, and Sunday, I don't see any huge changes. It will be on the sticky to uncomfortable side. At least we're not going to be dealing with excessive heat along with the humidity. We'll keep an eye on Saturday night into Sunday, obviously, if the some tropical moisture gets in here a little bit more directly. We'll spike up these dew points closer to the 70 degree mark and the coast will be at the higher end of these dew point readings over the next couple of days. You can already see that right now. Newport, you're at a dew point of 69, New Bedford 68, Westerly 68. That's pretty muggy. Not a bad uh, afternoon when you're starting to sweat to just jump on in the water. A little more refreshing, although still kind of muggy in Smithfield at 64, just not as bad as at the coast. Keeping our eyes on Bertha right now. Bertha has winds of 50 miles an hour movement to the northwest at 21 miles an hour. And here's the good news with Bertha. It's going to have a hard time strengthening over the next 48 hours. So more good news is that our track continues to take it up to the north and then to the northeast, bending it away from the mainland of the United States. So we'll continue to track this for you. But right now, this is not an immediate threat to the mainland of the U.S. Live pinpoint Doppler 12, not showing any showers for now. There is a weak disturbance which could spread a few showers throughout the afternoon, but most of the afternoon ends up rain free. Right now we're mostly cloudy as we look up from the hurricane barrier and notice plenty of cloud cover showing up on the satellite picture, but the specks of green few and far between right now, but I wouldn't be surprised to fire off a few showers, but I think most of those stay to our north and west as we head throughout the afternoon. That's why a lot of us just never see the raindrops. You can see they're barely touching the Rhode Island border around two o'clock in the afternoon, and then things kind of dissipate as the sun sets. Tomorrow is the much better chance of more widespread rain showers, especially from the late morning into the early afternoon. One of the trends I am seeing is for the core of the moisture with tomorrow's system to remain offshore. That means areas to the south and east of Providence, say for instance, Little Compton, New Bedford, you'll see more frequent showers tomorrow afternoon than say north and west of Providence and Foster or Burville. So that's the trend I'm seeing right now. Obviously, any little shift in track can change that forecast, but right now it looks like the south and the east, the most frequent showers for tomorrow. Tomorrow night, still a chance of some isolated showers. We could get one more shot of heavy rain early Sunday morning. Right now, Sunday afternoon, not looking too bad with just the threat of some showers. So for this afternoon, a quick shower as possible. You can see high temperatures in the low 80s inland, the coast cooler because of those onshore breezes. And then tonight through tomorrow morning, certainly not a refreshing night. You can see 7 o'clock tomorrow morning already in the upper 60s before making a run at the 70s for Saturday. So in terms of breaking down your precipitation chances, you can see pretty good chance throughout the middle of the afternoon. Then on Sunday, best chance would be in the morning with some of those heavy rain showers. Sunday afternoon, still the threat of some showers or downpours, but right now it looks like we could actually get a little bit of sun for Sunday afternoon. Monday looking okay with a high of 80. So we'll track the showers for the weekend. All right, Pete, thank you. Here's a quick look at what we're working on starting live at 5 tonight. And a quick